Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Stern, Stern Chiropractic, and welcome to Wellness. We continue our stress management series with stress management tools to help you address the mental emotional stressors. In our past videos, we've primarily addressed the chemical and physical stressors. We've discussed how chiropractic care can clear your nerve system to help your body function optimally and reduce your stress. We've talked about healthy eating, proper supplementation, deep breathing, eating and shopping healthy, proper posture. All of things, these things are vital and, in my mind, are the easiest tools to reduce your stress. When that's not enough, or you're not really doing as much of those things as you could be, other tools may be needed to help address the mental emotional stressors. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Some of the biggest sources of mental emotional stress for people outside of relationships is uncertainty. So what can we do about that? Well, there's a couple of things. One is goal setting. Have an idea where you're going and the journey there will be much easier and more stress-free. Set goals, both short and long term. And then when it comes time to make different decisions, it'll be much easier and much more clear cut for you and substantially less stressful. How about when you feel in a rush? That's a pretty stressful time. One of the tips is be organized. Why? Because when you've got to rush off somewhere and you don't know where everything is that you need to go there and you're not prepared for it, it's a very stressful time. Being prepared and being organized will dramatically reduce your stress, make your life a lot easier, and will improve your performance in work and or school. When you're in a stressful situation, what can you do? Well, how about taking a step back? Taking a moment, not to react, but to give yourself a moment to process what's going on so you can respond effectively. And reframe what's going on so that you can respond effectively. What does that mean? Well, look at it like, hey, they just spilled a coffee on me. I could get all angry. Or I could look at it and say, how's this going to affect me in a day, a week, a month, a year? Is it really that big of a deal? Look for the silver lining. Maybe this is a person that you need to meet and know and it's going to help you prosper. Try to reframe things for yourself and, and respond instead of react. Again, take a step back, removing yourself from the situation to allow yourself to process, and reframe it so that you have a different outlook on what just happened and you, again, can respond in an effective manner that's productive for you and dramatically less stressful. One of the more difficult techniques is changing your paradigm your view of the world, how you see things. Why? Because I could go to a movie with someone, and for me this movie could be the scariest thing in the world. I could be having a terrible time. My friend, on the other hand, my friend could be enjoying this movie, could come out saying, this is the best movie I ever saw. Really excited. We're just looking at it from different perspectives. So guess what? The same thing works in your life. If you change the way you view things, you may not find them stressful anymore. You may even find them wonderful. Because you know what? Stress can be good for you. Stress is what helps us grow. Stress is what helps us prosper because it pushes us to develop further and better. So changing your paradigms and how you view things is a very, very effective tool at managing stress. It's just something that takes a long time and a lot of work. When you're stressed, have a place that you can go to relax and de-stress. Create your own environment. We'll talk more about this in one of our latter videos on meditation. But in that environment, I like to incorporate proper lighting, proper music or sounds for the mood, and maybe even aromas. Maybe you diffuse uh, essential oils or burn incense. But things that help you relax and help you do it immediately without any effort. Visualization. Again, going back to uncertainty, and especially for athletes. 
you're worried about how you're going to perform in your athletics. Or maybe you're worried about how you're going to perform in a meeting at work or on a test at school. Taking time in advance to visualize how you're going to perform. Visualize yourself doing incredible, performing at your best, will dramatically reduce the stress when it comes time for that performance. Deep breathing. Deep breathing is one of the most wonderful and easy tools for reducing stress. If you go to our website, www.sternchiro.com, and go to the newsletter archive, you'll find one of our previous stress management series videos on deep breathing. Watch the video. It'll help you feel wonderful just watching it and learning how to deep breathe, and it'll be a wonderful tool for the future. Laughter. You ever been so upset, so frustrated, so stressed, all of a sudden something distracts you and you are cracking up. And seconds later, you're totally de-stressed, can't remember what was bothering you in the first place. Laughter is one of the most effective stress management tools. And lastly, meditation. Meditation is just clearing your mind, finding a way to be at peace, taking yourself out of your head, removing yourself from the environment to be with yourself. But we'll go much more into meditation in one of our future stress management videos. So if that's of interest to you, watch out for our video on meditation where I'll go over all the details on how you can get started meditating really easy and really quickly. I hope these tools have been useful for you. Thank you for taking the time. Have a great day and peace.